Hi everybody, I'm Mike McCrory and this is Would You Make It? So I was making this jewelry box and as I was finishing tightening in one of the screws in the hinge, the screw sheared off. So in this video I'm going to show you how I go about repairing something like that. And the way I'm going to do it is I've got this drill bit that I've purchased from Woodcraft for about $10. It's relatively inexpensive. So the way it works is it drills a cylinder around the broken off screw so I can drill around it, break off the piece of wood and, and pull the screw out. So let's get started. So I've removed the screws and both hinges and now I've got two sheared off screws. So that just shows you how soft the brass screws are. So I've removed all the screws. I'm going to patch two of them after I extract the two that are broken off. And then I'm gonna replace all the screws with a new set uh, because the heads are a little bit messed up now. Now before using the extractor, I need to cut a quarter inch hole into a piece of wood so that it can be used as a guide. Otherwise the drill bit would slide around and be a little bit uncontrolled. And there's the screw without a head. And these are the pieces that I need to remove. And I'm not sure there's any right way of doing it. I started with a screwdriver and then used a pair of pliers to pull the screw out. Is almost like being a dentist. So now I've plugged the holes with some quarter inch dowel. Those are the pieces that I've removed. And now I just need to trim the ends of the dowel to be flush with the bottom of the mortise. All right, so I've got the dowels trimmed down with a chisel, and now I'm gonna take a couple of extra precautions. One is I'm gonna use a gimlet to thread the holes. I'm gonna use that instead of the steel screw that Brusso provided with their hinge set. And the other is that I'm gonna use a little bit of wax on the screw to make it slide in just that much easier so there's less friction while I'm twisting in the drill. And I think that's gonna make it a much better solution than my first attempt, which caused a couple of the screws to shear off. Now I wanna make sure I don't overdo it here because now instead of drilling into the edge of a piece of bird's eye maple, I'm drilling into the end grain of a birch dowel. So it's definitely gonna be softer than what I'm starting with. This set of gimlets that I have is really inexpensive. You can get a set of four of these for $5 from Woodcraft. So there's really no reason not to have a set. And now I'm just using a little bit of paste wax to each screw to minimize the amount of friction. And it's incredible the difference that this has made. The screws turn in so easily now. So now everything's back to normal as if I'd never had the problem in the first place. Now I can go back to finishing up my jewelry box project. 